Hi everyone and welcome to Saturday, the night of Saturday Night Takeaway uh, coming up a little bit later on TV. But I thought we'd do this little, um, or start to do this little project here today which I'm really looking forward to. It's a little dinosaur and it's called Paint Gem. First of all what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the cover minder because we're going to have to use a cover minder for this. I did order a massive pack of release paper. Um, that now because obviously this is going to slop and slide all the place what we're going to do here is um, we've got various colors here um, up the top here as you can see very lovely colors here I'm a little bit concerned as to how that's going to do all the top but we'll see but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring in my glue gun and what I'm going to do is just apply a blob of hot glue this is perfectly fine it's not going to cause the painting any arm whatsoever and then what you do is you just click you just slap that onto the back of it just hold that down for a minute that will stop it from moving away um, now obviously it might need a bit of training I don't think that's gonna work actually yeah so as you can see when it dries it's like it peels off but unfortunately my plan is not going to work um, because it it's got bent so can you see it's like how am I going to do this? I was hoping that the hot glue would cause it to, you know, stick down so that we don't have to keep slapping it all, you know, see what we can do. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Okay. Okay, that is an epic foul. <laughs> I really thought the hot glue would let us stick it to the mat so that we didn't have to, um, you know, so it don't slop and slide all over the place. Um, I think washi tape isn't going to do it, but as you can see, this comes this comes off really easy. You just slip it off like that. But yeah, okay, that's interesting. We'll just have to go with the flow. But let's get started. So yes, um, I can't recall how far back we went, but uh, um, let's try and remember yesterday. But yeah, so these are called paint gems. They're basically the same as like. Um, just diamond painting really but they're just called gems instead um oh man this really this is going to be like a really annoying one let me just go and get some washi tape because it's just it's annoying me that it's slipping and sliding I'm not entirely sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to use this, which I was going to save for the frozen painting that I'm doing, but we just need something to, can you see, so if we put that there, we need something to sort of like keep it secured down, because it's just going to slip and slide, oh that's, it might pull up, it's just going to keep sliding all the time and it's really annoying. gonna pick up for goodness sake. <sighs> really? Well, it's the next best thing, but let's hope it works, eh? <laughs> but yes, yesterday was a busy day. I had, um, oh my God, this is really gonna, it's just lifting up all the time. Yesterday I was, um, oh man, wait, this is aggravating me now. Yeah, don't stick. So yesterday it was um, quite a busy day. I got up and had Tesco delivery because um, I don't really do Tesco deliveries, but I thought, well, I really don't want to go out. I needed to get quite a lot of shopping and it would have been various different bags uh, carrying them back. So I thought, well, I'll do a Tesco delivery. And when my brother very first done his Tesco delivery, he got a, uh, a free box of chocolates. Um, it's like a welcome gift, but I didn't get that. But when they came, it was, it was really, really cool. So when they dispatch it, 
you can edit the order until like five minutes towards midnight and then after that they sort of take payment for it and um, so took payment I think I spent about 40 pounds and um, they have like a tracker system on the great on the club card app um, club card is actually the actual they used to be two separate apps and the club card app is now retired so you now have like the club card in with the groceries app as well and it tracks it on there so it says your drivers this stops away uh, seven stops away six stops away and so on and when it came i was like oh no they didn't actually include any bags i had to physically so the driver could see what's in it and i could actually i just had to get it out of these they're like green container box things but in a way it saved me having to take them all out of the bags to put the bag in there but i didn't know whether this is true or not when you buy a bag, which is normally 30p in Tesco, apparently if that bag breaks, you can come back for a free replacement. Apparently it's a bag for life. Now, if you look at the amount of people that go in there and keep buying bags, I never ever knew that, but I'm not one for keeping bags. This blue is gorgeous. So I thought, well, I mean, to be fair with you, it didn't actually come up with a bag option, but I got these lovely scampi bites. They're called scampi bites. Um, made by, I think it's Will with with bees, is it? So I got these lovely scampi um, bites. So I thought, oh yeah, I'll have uh, you know fish and chips with that. So I could have because I got some fish as well. So I can have fish and chips one day and then scampi and chips the next. But oh man, do you know what I'm going to show you? Because they look, they look. I've never tried them before, but they look really nice. Uh, so they're called Whitby, apparently Whitby Seafoods, but it's a scampy, like little bits like that, so I thought that'd be quite nice to go with like chips and that maybe, like one day. So yeah. And then after that I had Amazon come. Because I had to get myself, um, I've been, uh, the doctor keeps telling me to do my high blood pressure. So every morning I have to wake up and do this chart thing. But I actually, it's really naughty because they've actually said to me that I have to buy it myself. You know, that machine was £18, which takes away money that I need for other areas like getting my issues or you know paying a bill or something so the only way I could do was to put um, count, uh, TV licensing on hold um, and I've got to be careful with that because they can only reschedule it three times and then it cancels the license but they're charging me like £17 fortnightly and it shouldn't be uh, sorry monthly and it shouldn't be that it should be £3 a week because I'm on the simple payment plan so anyway, I thought, you know, health is more important than paying a proxy TV fee. Um, it's not like they've not got a payment because I paid last month. But so, yeah, I ended up buying this one, which was £18. It's quite nice. Um, it's got a lovely cuff on it. So as you can see, that's the cuff. And it's, you know, just your basic sort of blood pressure machine. But it does what I need it to do. And then hopefully I don't need to do it anymore once I've put it on here but I mean it says here to calculate your average I haven't got a clue how the hell you do that but um yeah so I mean it's always useful to have I mean I was borrowing my Nams one um but now it's out of the way it's you know it's pretty good um so then after that waiting for Amazon and then I decided to venture up because every so often on Amazon, I will check to see if they've got any more lockers in the area because it's really good if you're out and you, you know, you've got a package, you need it. Um, it's always good to have the locker until, you know, you can go out. And I've been waiting ages for one to come to Braintree because the, uh, the nearest one we've got is the one that's on Freeport Station. So it's all very well getting there, I can get the train, but I have to pay £2.60. But coming back, I can either walk it, or I can wait for the train that's coming from London. Um, 
and wait for that one to come back up the track and then go to Witter, um, go back to uh, Braintree. So I've been looking and they came up with two others and there's one called Sunshine because they named them all, I think their names are after robots but most of them are named after games or robots but we've got one called Sunshine and quite funny enough that's at the shop that I get my snappy shopper from which is Chalice Lane so there must be one up there and then there's another one called Chapek C-H-A-P-E-K and apparently that one is up near where the Royal Mail Depot is but there's if you go past the depot and around the corner there's like a, another co-op there called Pressing Road and it's outside there and I thought oh MG this is fantastic you know I won't have to uh, stop off at my mum's and leave them there I can just like if I'm going out anywhere I can just divert it to there but it's really weird so I um, went up there and it looks like a wardrobe and I was like hang on a minute this is this can't be this doesn't look right it's not got no screen because on Amazon lockers you have a screen where you put the code in to open the door and it turns out that the ones without the screens are ones that are operated by Bluetooth. So what happens is you get a button on your phone and apparently it, it says that you have to connect it, it. Basically, the button on your app opens the actual locker. So I thought, well, I'm going to test it. I'm going to send one there and see how we get on because this is what it says on my system, which I, I've never actually used this type of locker before. I normally use like the ones that, there's orange ones or there's blue ones, but I normally just use the ones with the screens, but I've been waiting ages for a new one to come to the area, and that seems to be the, you know, the closest, so I don't have to go to Amazon, but it's so small, I don't know how you're gonna get many lockers in there, uh, sorry, many parcels in there, but as you can see, so, for example, this one, come on. So, for example, this one, I've put on there, it's out for delivery, I'm using bourbon biscuits, but it says Amazon Locker Shopec, right? So, what you do is it says you must use the Amazon Shopping app on your smartphone to pick up the packages at the locker. So, that's really interesting because normally what happens is you get a code and that code when it's there they give you a code or a barcode because you can scan, hold your phone there and it scans it or you put the code in which releases the door but this one seems to be operated by bluetooth that's connected on your phone which is good because sometimes them screens you have to put, press it so hard because they, it doesn't sort of like recognize that you're typing the letter um, I have gone to a locker before and all the screen has been smashed up and I reported it to Amazon and they come out and fixed it because obviously we, I couldn't get my stuff out because some idiots smashed the screen on it. So yeah, I mean people just don't seem to understand, um, you know, they just get a kick out of destroying things. But um, I thought that's, this is just great, you know. I mean, obviously it's quite small. The great thing also with lockers is they're open all day and all night, I believe. But what the great thing is also is that, um, you know, it's closer to the area. So it means, you know, if I'm out for the day at Whitham, I can just get off the train when I come back and then just whiz up, whiz up to the locker. So, yeah really really happy with that and the other one is up near chalice lane which there's two ways to get to that uh one of my youtubers um unfortunately we don't speak anymore but he taught me how to get up there via a shortcut and the other one the other way is going up past the allotment on rose hill and going up that massive bloody hill called skits hill and oh man it's it's quite a, a long walk um, going up is okay, but coming down is great, Could, but I would love to try my bike, my bike's in Whitton, but I'd love to try my bike going down that hill, I mean, you wouldn't have to pedal, but 
Could you imagine if your brakes, uh, you lost your brakes? The reason why you're doing that, so if, you, if your brakes are lost, all you have to do is just um, try and slow the bike down by just putting your foot on the, like, where the spokes are, what I do is if my brakes are like gone loose, I will just use both my feet to clamp the wheel uh, to slow it down. But yeah, so I thought this is great. You know, I, I, I've i now got somewhere that I can put it in, um, you know, and get it. So that's great. So I decided to send one up there today. I've already got deliveries coming today, but I thought, well, I want to test it out. I've never tried one with Bluetooth before. So I thought, yeah, I'll do that. And then I came back and I filmed a bit of The Hobbit because I do a collection on The Hobbit. And then uh, after that, I did dinner, which was spaghetti bolognese with grated cheese. I always, I'm terrible for remembering things, so I always forget to get the grated cheese. <laughs> so, um, so I've got the grated cheese, but this cathedral, the only cheese I'll eat is the Cathedral City one. And it's really weird because I never ever used to like cheese as a kid, I would never eat it. But um, yeah, so I thought, well, I'll get that. And yeah, it was really, really good. So, and they do like a, a pre-grated pack as well. So you don't have to like sit there grating it, which is the same as your job really. Um, so I thought, oh, I'll put some on there, let it melt. And oh, the flavors were out of this world. I do love one of my favorite meals of all time is pie and mash with liquor or spag bowl, which is short for spaghetti bolognese. Now tonight I've got a hard decision because I fancy fish and chips, I fancy scampi and chips, I fancy burger of beans and chips, and I also fancy chicken korma. Now normally if I do a chicken korma, I will do the chicken and the korma sauce and the rice, but I like to put some peppers in it as well, just to give it a bit, uh, bit of a, you know, like a, um, a bit of a flavour, I suppose. But I like to put mushrooms in it as well. So tonight, I'm going to probably have me corn, I think, because obviously I buy the chicken fresh. So there's only a certain amount of days I can keep it in the fridge. And then I can freeze the rest if I wanted to. But yeah, oh my God, look how vibrant that purple is. Oh wow. Now again, although that looks pink, it is the right drill. So any new people diamond painting, don't think that you've got the wrong drill or they've made a mistake. It just sometimes, it's just how the print process works. It can sometimes come up a little bit darker than what it is, or it might not. But I thought, well, I'll do this for Saturday and then gets it out of the way then because it's a nice little short project I think um, and the quicker we get these done the quicker I can buy some more because uh, what I'm doing as well is I bought quite a lot lately from the range and I've now stopped buying for the minute because I want to get some more of these done once I get all the current ones done from the range I might look at buying some more so but last night I was getting the video ready for the unboxing and I was thinking of putting the washi tape up but I've already done the washi tape the previous, I've got another washi tape but I already done the Easter one a few, was it last week? So I thought, right, let's go back, see what other unboxings I've got. And quite bizarrely I found a lion and some cubs that I had. I must have filmed it in December because when I was watching the video back, I said, see you in the new year. So I must have, um, I must have filmed that ready for this year, but totally forgot about it. Now this is quite groovy. You've got half green and half blue. They should do a drill like that, so at half and half, but that's actually a six. I wonder if you can get half half drills, you know, like half green, half blue, and that would be quite nice. I'm really not sure whether we've got enough to do all this, because that's the only amount they've give you, but I think these are great. So they're called gem kits apparently. So yeah. I like the way the clouds are. I mean, 
I really like them drilled, as you know, but I don't like, I do like partials, but to me, it just feels like it should always be a full drill. <laughs> and then last night I was watching these tenders. There's something really weird going on there. So because we've had the football, they've not been putting these tenders on. So I thought, well, I wonder if they've put it on BBC iPlayer. And to my surprise, they put, uh, I think it was the 2nd or the 3rd of March on BBC iPlayer. Then my friend said, are you going to watch EastEnders tonight? It's on. And I said, oh, okay then. So there I go. I get dinner ready to sit down and watch it. And what happens? I thought, well, this, this episode looks very familiar. And it turns out that it was the same episode that they put on BBC iPlayer. So what they're doing is they're putting it on the iPlayer before they actually air it on the TV. Which is really, really interesting. But yeah. But I got some daffodils. I love my daffodils, so I had to get some daffodils. Um because whenever it's between March and sort of April, I like to get daffodils. Um, because it makes Easter be very nice. There's so much Easter eggs. I've, I'm in the process. I'm so late. So at Christmas time, I said that I was sending out gifts to everyone. Only five people. It's something I do every year. I send five people um, Christmas gifts. But this year, I decided to only send one gift. Um, because obviously I ran out of time. It wasn't very planned well. <laughs> And I decided to send a Christmas gift to Diamond Paintings with TM. And I sent some other friends some stuff as well, uh, Christmas related, because obviously they bought me a voucher, so I'd like to return the favour. And um, I totally forgot to send it. So I've literally posted it yesterday, no, the day before. Um, and it fell, do you know what, yeah, the last couple of days I've been wrapping up for obviously diamond paint with TM. And it's just felt so weird wrapping up Christmas stuff in the middle of February. Um, Cause obviously I was filming it in February and yeah, it just felt really, really weird. <laughs> but last night they, I went to the locker and the thing is with these lockers, cause every time I've gone to the parcel shop, they've gone, sorry, Herms ain't collecting today. And I'm like, well, why have a parcel shop then? Because the parcel shop for every, uh, there's one in Premier and there's one in Cogshaw Road, Tesco's there. So I thought, well, I'll go to the locker. And then I'm thinking as I'm walking to the locker, I'm thinking, is he, is he going to say it's full? Because when you buy a label on their website, they don't actually tell you if that locker's full. With Amazon, if you send a parcel or you try to send a parcel to the locker, if it's full, it will go, sorry, this locker's full. But Herms don't do that, so I go there, I put the parcel in there, and it said only small part, uh, small doors are available, because you get an option that says small, medium or large, and they and it said small, and I'm looking at the package and I'm thinking, I could try and push my luck and see if it fits in there. So it opened it, and it m missed it by probably about that much, but I managed to squeeze it in there, I was like, I ain't taking it back, you know. There's one in the news agents, but that's closed. I, I'm not going to even attempt to take it to Coventry Road because they um, always say that they're not collecting. So I thought, do you know what? I'll just ram it in there. You know, the pay I paid for the item because um, it was standard size. So it's it's got to, you know, I, I can't take it back. You know, I need it out of the way. It's late as it is. So... That's now on its way. I think Tessa's gonna do a live or a pre-record. I'm not sure how she's doing that yet, but uh, she asked, whenever I send her something, she, for some reason, she always asks me, do I want her to do a live or do I want her to do a pre-record? And I, I say to her, you know, it's your channel. You do it how you want. Um, so apparently she said that she's gonna do a live. So uh, we think it might turn up Monday. Um, but I think if you're watching this video, Tessa, um, I think you're going to be surprised with some of the things in there. Um, now, I haven't forgot about 
you know, the Christmas card. I've put one in there because we always have spare ones um, from previous years and stuff. So I have put one in there for you. But I think some of it is really going to sort of surprise you a bit, maybe. I'm not going to say too much because I'll give it away now. <laughs> I'm quite enjoying this lovely little project. I got this, I got apple juice today, yeah. Oh my God. And, um, no, actually it came yesterday. This apple juice is fantastic. But you put it in the fridge, gee whiz, it's like eating bloody syrup. <laughs> I've actually ordered this um, Bounty Coconut. It looks the bomb. Everyone's saying it's really nice. But this is what I buy. It's really lovely. It's nice and cheap, but it's apple juice. And it's pound a bottle. But you can have the option. It says apply 10% voucher, subscribe and save. If you click that, what that does is it, it basically sort of like automatically orders it for you but at a discount because obviously you're subscribing and saving for it so that was pretty good apologies if you can uh hear the washing machine there but yeah it looks like it's going to be another late one tonight so uh getting delivery in that as per usual <laughs> it's always the way with amazon they came really early yesterday but now they're saying between four and seven so I'm thinking, well, I've got to go up to the locker, you know, and it could be on the same van. I don't know, but I can always do that tomorrow. When your parcel goes in the locker, I think you have, like, normally you get three days to pick it up. But if you don't pick it up, they will come and collect it and then take it back for a refund. Um, also, the great thing about lockers is, say, like, you've got to return something to Amazon, you're not quite happy with it, you want to return it for a a refund you can actually um return them rather than queuing up and waiting at the post office i mean obviously if it's a track label and it fits in the post box then you can put it in the post box but with amazon lockers you can actually return it via the locker it's really really good so none of that waiting around in the post office for things and yeah it's quite lovely look at that how cool is that they've put like two nostrils for the Nostril bits. Quite like this one. It's nice and uh, quite groovy. This I quite like this. Do 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 do. Oh, you little fucker! It just skipped. It was like tiddly blinks. <laughs> it's Anastasia. Where are you going? Can anyone hear? I don't know why, but I was I was always born to sing. I always sing. I sing in the morning. I sing when I'm washing up. I sing when I'm hoovering. I sing when I'm in the shower. It's, um, I don't know what it is. I just enjoy, have a passion for singing. I mean, most of my friends have said you should go on the X Factor, but it's not me. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not really looking for pursuing a career in music. <laughs> So, uh, I mean, never say never. I have applied for Big Brother, as I said, but I pulled out of it because they said uh, we would like to see some of your um, social media. And I'm thinking, why? I do diamond painting. I do part works. This isn't going to go well. I think they basically want to see, like, vlogger, you know, like, YouTubers that vlog, uh, that sort of thing. So I was like, right, you know what? I'm going to have to pull out because this isn't... I know if I send a video like that, it's not going to make the application successful because it's not what they're looking for, you know. So I'm going to try the jungle, but the problem is I'm not a celebrity, so I can't. <laughs> but this year, they've actually put it in... Um, they're putting it in uh, South Africa, aren't they? They're doing like a, uh, a special anniversary of all the previous winners in that. So... Uh, it's really interesting how for years it's always been in Australia because they also do the German one there um, in Australia as well. And it's really weird how it's, you know, started off in Australia for years and now they're sort of touring because they did the... Um, they were in the castle for a couple of years because of COVID and then 
they went back to Australia and now they want to move it to South Africa so yeah oh look how nice that looks oh that's gorgeous especially against that blue and green that's lovely I think we'll have enough and en en enough guys actually we've got quite a few left it's always they always sort of like when you get a low color and you're looking at the pitch and you're you're thinking no way is that going to do that and yeah it does so uh yeah it's quite good that <clears throat> so i thought well i'll do this today and then i don't have to film tomorrow because i think hobie needs a bit of recording on that as well because I don't recall, I think, yeah, last week I had to record it for it to go up. Because what I tried to do is I tried to film a lot in advance so that I don't have to worry about sitting there and videoing it. Normally if I've filmed, like, say, several paintings in advance, I will just schedule them to come out automatically so I don't have to sit there and physically, like, you know, put all the description in, you know, put it live. But I'm very excited because we've got GBFKE on the way, yes. And apparently they ship with Herms, which is basically every, aka known as every parcel goes missing. <laughs> oh man, it's really interesting though, isn't it? Like they changed their name to hide up their bad reputation and they're still a ship. I mean, yeah. Do, 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 it's Anastasia, where are you going, can anyone hear? Now, also guys, I am in the process, as you can see, I'm getting my little jar of stuff. I've, st I've got up to, so far, I've done six names. I'm trying to think of, I'm going through the videos that I, of the channels I watch. So I will be adding some more, there's going to be 30 names. But I've run out of people who I think I watch. <laughs> so I'll check my subscriber list thing um, of all the people that I'm subscribed to and uh, think of some more names. But yeah, I can't wait. It's quite good. Obviously I was delayed because I went to the dentist and then I had to go into London because my friend Tommy needed help with something. And... So I went up there, cost me £25, but hey ho. Um, but he was he was lovely because he made me a cup of tea, um, bought me some, I think it was Big Mac or something we had. No, I'll tell you what it was. It was um, crispy duck from, you know, Indian. So, so I thought, oh, you know, I, I knew that I had to come back and go to Whitton, but my journey, the great thing is, if I say like I bought a train ticket from Braintree to London, I can get off at any stop I like along that route, because I've paid further than that route, if you get me. So, yeah, it's quite good. This is absolute, do you know what this reminds me of? You know that um, Dazzling Dragon that they've got on the works that's £3.50? Now with that, they actually, um, they've reduced that to three fifty now. Now, if there's any gonks uh, lovers on here, if you like painting gonks, um, they have got a gonk in a frame on the works. No, sorry, the range. So do check that out. ITV shop, get ready. I keep, do you know, every year I try to remember to buy something off the I'm a celebrity get me out of shop and I forget. I think they sell them all year round, but the ITV shop is great because it's all sort of like souvenirs from all your favourite shows and stuff, so. But yeah, I sent some things back to Prism. I decided to keep some of these. I just could not part ways with this pen or, you know, some of the minders. It's, they're so nice. So uh, I wasn't happy, I didn't like the tweezers, so I, put, I sent them back and I didn't like the bulldog clip of the dog. Um, the yellow one kept falling off. I don't know what's wrong with it, but 
yeah. Um, I've not had problems with any of the other minders, but it just some it's something to do with them dogs. They just don't. It's like the magnet is too forceful for that type of thing. It's too strong of a magnet, I think. But we're coming into the little, the little flat. <laughs> that looks like he's wearing a little mask. <laughs> I like that, groovy, yeah, man. But I'm doing a bit of the rose tonight because obviously I'm filming this on Friday, so I'll be doing a bit of the rose tonight. And uh, I mean, we're not going to get a lot done, but we're only going to do an hour. But it's my, uh, it's going to be my. Um, hopefully, get some more colours on it. But it's my last sort of like hour stream before I have to wait. So the ninth is Thursday, so we'll be able to do the live fine, but. I've had to move the, I'm doing this um, co-hosting whip and chat thing with Diamond Paints with TM because she asked me if I wanted to do a show with her and I said yeah, go for it. Um, but because of the stream limit, I've, I, I'm really going to have to look at Tuesdays because it's that that is eating all the time up and I need to cater for my other channel as well when I go live on there. So we may have to scrap the idea of going from A to B. One, it's very time consuming, and two, it takes up a lot of the stream uh, limit thing. Because if you're on the free plan, you get 20 hours for free. So, I think what they should have done here is a special drill, you know, like them oval ones that you get, you know, on that butterfly card that I showed you, around the sort of abdomen area. Because it's in that sort of shape, isn't it? Do 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 it's Anastasia. Where are you going? Can anybody hear me? Whoa, whoa, babushka, 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 hiya. There used to be a show called that with Ryan and Clark Neal used to host it. it. It was called Babushka. And they had Russian dolls, and then what they would have to do is open the doll to find the prize to then win it. But if they opened a doll with no, I think it was even no money. Um, and then right at the end there was like a gold doll and if they found that they won if they didn't they lost but I miss seeing that show but I'm sick at the sight of seeing football at the moment every fucking day football 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 you know it's you know it causes disruption to the sofas <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake <laughs> Disruption to the sofas. Oh my god. Um, yeah, um, it doesn't do that. It causes disruption. I was trying to say soaps, but come out with sofas instead. So, uh, um, yeah, it, it causes problems with the soaps. I mean, I can't. The only soap I watch is um, EastEnders. I don't watch Coronation Street. It's enough to bore you to death. And I don't watch Hollyoaks. I used to watch Bookside before it acts, but someone told me, I can't remember who it was, but someone said that apparently Hollyoaks bought Bookside's set. But um, I've actually met the guy that plays Ziggy in Hollyoaks. He's now moved to EastEnders. Um, I haven't seen him on there yet, but me and my brother had a photo done with him in Braintree, Christmas light switch on. Um, I have got the photo, I think it's on my laptop somewhere, but um, I have got it somewhere. Let me have a look. don't know if I've got it on here. I think it's on the phone that I broke. Because um, my, my old phone broke. Let's have a look. Let's put Ziggy maybe. Yeah, it's not coming up. So, yeah, unfortunately, I don't know on that one. So, yeah. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to probably leave this session uh, here for the minute. Because um, I can't remember when we start recording. And I want to try and break it into four segments if I can. But this was the only one that they had on there. I have not seen any others on there. But some really lovely colours here. Wow, wow. Babushka, 
When you know the notes to sing, you can sing most anything. Do a deer, a female deer, and it's ray a job a golden sun. Me, a name I call myself. Far long way to uh, up on here was a lonely goat herd lady or little Do you know what mashup is? So a mashup is two songs that sound the same but they mash the words up. <laughs> Hence the word mashup. But I really must plan a trip to Freeport because they're apparently they've got a new Harry Harry Bow shop. They've got a new um chocolate factory shop and they've got the Lindor shop. Now could you imagine doing a pick mix in Lindor? That's going to be pricey as hell. But yeah. But yeah, Freeport's pretty good. But yeah. Right, we're going to leave it there, guys. That's been really lovely. I've really enjoyed that. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, tap the bell. Ring my bell. Yeah, yeah. Ring my bell. But this is the washi tape that I'm going to be using for my frozen pictures. I don't know where I got it. I think it came in the works. Not entirely sure, but um, yeah, if you find that this keeps swapping and uh, you know, sliding, you know, you can put some washi tape on it and hold it down. But that's looking lovely, really can't wait to see what it's uh, gonna look like for the mad moment. Then I thought I had to turn the light off, but it's not a light bulb pen. <laughs> I want to get that wireless light bulb though, but it's a little bit on the pricey side. Once it drops, I will. Um, I'm not paying 40 quid, it's not worth it. Um, but yeah, so let's take this off. Washy, 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 tape, tape, tape. Obviously you can't put washy tape around this one because it doesn't have a um, order. But I have ordered a five, uh, no, a pack of 100 release paper. So uh, yeah, can't wait to use that. But yeah, that's what it's looking like at the moment, guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Tap the bell if you want to be notified for all the videos I do. If you want to get this for yourself, I will put the link in the description. It does come from the range. As I said, they've got they've got loads. Tigers, giraffes, you name it, they've got it. And they've also got the Christmas... Um, not Christmas. They've got some gonks in a frame. A gonk is a gnome that, don't, that hides its face. But yeah, that is looking beautiful. And I'm really, really happy with that. Um... Because I can now down kit the blue, which is great. But anyway, take care, guys, and I'll see you next Saturday. I'm going to do this on Saturdays, I think. And um, I'll see you next Saturday for the next one uh, of this lovely dinosaur painting. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. And uh, I'll see you later.